everyone welcome to this video in this video I am going to be talking to you about the next function which is the is blank function um, previously we talked about set and creating a variable and I think we also talked about um, lookup um, in this video we're gonna be talking about the is blank video so we can so you can know and see exactly what it does so let me bring over the documentation screen over here so as you can see, um, this is a page or in a documentation it talks about blank is blank. We're going to focus on these two. So blank is a placeholder for no value. So sometimes you may want to have just a blank in, in a variable, just no value. Um, so it says blank is, blank is a placeholder for no value or unknown value. For example, a combo box control selected property is blank if the user hasn't made a selection. Many data sources can store and return null values, which are represented in Paro apps as blank. So basically, a blank is just where there is nothing there, just a, a null value. They, as you can say, it returns a null value. Um, let's go down to the is blank and I'm going to show you examples of this so here's the blank returns blank value use this to store null value in a data source um, so is blank it says the is blank function tests for a blank value or an empty string so if you had some type of variable or if you brought data from a SharePoint list if you wanted to see if it was blank before you were before you did anything with it or any calculations you can use this function is blank and the is blank function when it does the when it does its test the return value of is blank is a boolean true or false so is this value true is this value blank it can be true or false um, the test includes empty strings to ease app creation since some data sources and controls use an empty string when there is no value present. To test specifically for a blank, use if value equal to blank instead of is blank. All right, so let's go into the application and test this out into Power Apps. It's much easier for you to see. So I, I am in the app um, application here. And we're going to go to this function screen. So let's create a variable. And if you remember, you can create a matter of fact, you know what? We're going to use this. We have this variable var color that we set to true. So now let's check to see if this var color is really blank. So if we say is blank. And as you can see, IntelliSense is coming up for me. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put in here var color. So let's see if this value here. So if, you, if I come in here and I do this. See, it says false. So is this blank false? It's not blank. Let me do it on the start. So usually if you put your cursor right after the function, it'll show you here if it's false or true. Now, if you remember in the documentation, it says you can use, it says the blank function returns a blank value. So, which means that if I come in here and I use the blank function, so blank, So that means that if I test this, it should return true because it truly is blank. Um, because that's what this returns, blank or null. So if I, let me restart this app, restart. And if I come here, and as you can see right here, it's true. Let me do another one, let me set var color and let's say green I'm going to say var color 2 
var color underscore two. And so if I come down here and I say is blank, oops, is blank var color underscore two. So as you can say, see, let me let me refresh this first. Let me on start, run start. Okay, good. So now if I come here, as you can see, it's it's false because it's green, it's not blank. But if I come to this var color, which is storing a blank or an all, watch what happens when I click on this line here. See, it's false. So I go to var color. It's true. So this is a great way to test if you were bringing something from SharePoint lists into Power Apps and you wanted to test it first to see if it's blank. Um, because if it's blank, you can't really do anything with a blank. But if it isn't blank, then you can grab that value and then you can do something with that value. So I hope that made sense. Um, please like the video, share it with others. And thanks for watching. Bye.